frequentist versus bayesian linear regression while we were learning about probability we had seen that there are two approaches to probability first one is frequentist approach to probability and the second one is bayesian approach to probability what did we do in frequentist approach if you remember in frequentist approach we used the frequency of occurrence of events in order to calculate probability that is if we do some experiment let's say for 100 times in total and let us say one particular event occurred 20 times then the probability of occurrence of that event is 20 divided by 100 that is out of a total of 100 occurrences 20 times this particular event occurred which means the probability of that event is 20 out of 100 this is the frequentist approach to probability that is based on the frequency of occurrences of an event you decide the probability and what did we do in bayesian approach to probability the we had a prior prior is a initial belief about that particular event so we would say the probability of that particular event the prior probability is something let us say 0 0.2 this is a prior belief then as we see the data we will update our prior belief to posterior and posterior is what we form after we see the data before we see the data we already have a prior belief and then using the Bayes theorem we'll update the prior to posterior belief this is what we do in Bayesian approach to probability the difference is first difference is in case of frequentist approach we use the frequency of occurrences and we make point estimates secondly in case of bayesian probability you already have a prior belief even before you see the data you have a prior belief that for this event the probability is this then you update this belief based on the data that you see and you form the posterior this is the basic difference between frequentist and bayesian approach frequentist is also called as classical approach to probability let us see what happens in case of regression what is the frequentist approach towards linear regression and what is the bayesian approach towards linear regression let us differentiate between these two so frequentist and bayesian two different approaches towards linear regression till this point whatever lectures you had seen the linear regression approaches that we used those are all frequentist why is it it is frequentist because we did estimation of parameters that is in linear regression what do you estimate you estimate the parameters w0 and w1 that is the whole task because if you know the parameters using the parameters you can find the values of y which is the target target variable you find it like w0 plus w1x so estimating w0 and w1 this is what you have to find out in linear regression this estimation in case of frequentist approach it is done based on the frequency of observed data that is in the previous lecture we had seen that based on the data that you have what did you do you made estimation of w0 and w1 you found the optimal values of w0 and w1 directly based on what all what all occurred in the data so you were directly calculating mathematically and we were making point estimates that is what you do in case of frequentist approach to probability and what is in case of bayesian approach in case of bayesian approach what you do is you estimate the probability distribution of parameters given both data and the prior beliefs so the first difference is here if you had single w0 and w1 values in case of bayesian you're not going to consider single value instead you are going to consider that there is a probability distribution p of w0 and there is a probability distribution p of w1 and you are going to get values from this probability distribution you are not going to make point estimate that is before the start itself you are going to say i have a prior belief that w0 is this it has a mean of this and it has a variance of this let's say a mean and variance so let us say this is a gaussian distribution so you would say that my according to my prior beliefs w0 is this distribution similarly w1 will be another distribution let's say this is w1 so this is prior belief 
Then as you see the data, you would update this belief to posterior and what you finally have is a posterior distribution. The difference is in Bayesian you have a distribution while in frequentist approach you make the exact estimation of the value of W0 and W1. So this is the first major difference between w, uh, frequentist approach and Bayesian approach. What is the second difference? Second difference is that parameters. What are the parameters here? The coefficients W0 and W1. The parameters are considered as fixed but unknown quantities. And the estimation, it is done by methods like ordinary least squares. That is, this is what we did in the last lecture. We used a least square method where the goal is to find parameters that minimize the sum of square distance between observed and predicted values. What Just recall what we did in the last lecture. In order to find W0 and W1, what did we do? First, we found error. What is error? Error is the difference between observed and predicted values. We said error is y cap minus y, the whole square. That is the squared difference between observed and predicted values. And we were trying to minimize this error. We wanted to make this as low as possible. And under this condition, that is it under the condition that we want to minimize the error, we tried to find optimal values of W0 and W1. How did you find it? You differentiated this error with respect to W0 and W1. And then from that you found the optimal values of W0 and W1. This is the frequentist approach. And what in case of Bayesian approach? Here the parameters are considered as random variables with probability distributions. That is what we did with uh, W0 and W1 in case of Bayesian linear regression. So once they are considered as random variables, estimation is done not just based on data, but instead you will incorporate the prior, prior belief. This we already discussed that we will have a prior belief and this prior will be updated as you see the data. So data means likelihood here. And third point is that the point estimates of parameters are done, they are provided such as best fit values. So you have W0 and you try to find the best fit, best fit value for W0. And this doesn't provide any measure of uncertainty. It just provides that this is the best fit value of W0. This is the best fit value of W1 for this particular problem. Then like we we got an exact equation that W0 is exactly this. Then W1 is exactly this. And you just had to substitute the values. We found out an exact equation from which you can derive W0 and W1. That is what we did in frequentist approach. And in case of Bayesian, here you don't do this. Instead, it provides uncertainty estimates. How does it do? Through the probability distribution, the posterior distribution. You have a posterior distribution through which you get probability estimates and this represents the updated beliefs after considering both prior information and observed data. So here the special edition is the prior information. In case of frequentist, you don't have any prior information. You see the data and according to the data, you decide what is W0, what is W1. In case of Bayesian, you have a prior belief. We already discussed what is the importance of this prior belief in when we discussed about probability. We told that this allows you to incorporate your subject knowledge or whatever information you have about this even before you observe the data. And this can be used in order to update the posterior. As, as you see more and more data, what will you do? You, you have a prior belief. Then this is your prior belief. Then you see some data. As you see the data, first part of data, then you will update this prior belief. Again, you will see data, then you will again update this prior belief. As you update it again and again, you finally reach the posterior distribution, which is your final uh, distribution for W0 and W1. This is the approach you do in Bayesian linear regression. So in short, frequentist focuses on estimating fixed parameters based on observed data. While in case of Bayesian, it focuses on integrating prior beliefs with the observed data to estimate probability distribution of parameters 
leading to more nuanced uncertainty you can say or more better quantification and probabilities probabilistic predictions so this is the major difference between frequentist approach and the bayesian approach whatever we had till, seen till this point is frequent frequentist regarding bayesian in the next lecture we'll have a small introduction on how to deal with bayesian approach of linear regression and uh, more details exactly how to solve we'll take it up at a later stage after we learn mcmc that is markov chain monte carlo or something then we'll uh, take it up later on exactly how to use this for now you just you are clear with frequentist approach we already derived for frequentist approach be clear with that regarding bayesian linear regression just have a basic idea now in the next lecture we'll have a basic introduction to bayesian linear regression